Ken Seely now, founder of Intervention911.com. And Ken, you know, you just heard Mackenzie Phillips just say that uh, the drug problem gets worse when you have access and you have money. I mean, you, you heard David Bagley reporting there uh, to stay at Promise uh, there in Malibu, $45,000 a month. I mean, there are very few people in the world who can afford that sort of treatment. But how common is, is, is heroin? Are these opiates in that celebrity cruel scene? Yeah, heroin is all over Hollywood right now. It's all over the whole country, as you've been talking about all week. And, you know, we have to start looking at it as a disease. You know, this is a disease that's killing 100 people a day in this country, and we need to hold people accountable to their recovery. That's the key here. We have to hold people accountable. And, and, and why is it so popular in Hollywood? I mean, you hear the statistics there. Uh, that, that 25% of the people that go into these centers are have heroin or other opiate addictions, and that number has increased five times just over the past decade. I mean, that, that is, those are stratospheric statistics. So why is it? Why is it so popular? It's so easy to get. It's so easy to get, and the things that they're, they're lacing it with today, with the fentanyl, it's even making it more fatal. And, you know, it's really about, once you know somebody that has an addiction, making sure that they are held accountable to their recovery process. And it's not a 10-day process. You know, it's a long-term process. Like the doctor diversion programs are three to five years. That's what needs to happen. And what about the relapse situation? Again, we heard that talked about in the piece. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman had you know, apparently been clean for 23 years. Obviously, who knows if that's true, if he'd had other periods of relapse that you know, he just disguised very well. Um, but is this, you know, when you hear people, for example, talk about going to uh, you know, rehab for alcohol, they talk about how for the rest of their lives it's difficult to be in the room with it or they don't want to have it being served at the table they're at. For some people, that's very hard. Is it even harder when you're talking about recovering from heroin? Oh, absolutely. Heroin is one of the most difficult drugs to detox and stay off of for long term. But once somebody is diagnosed with an addiction, that's the key component that's missing. You know, Hollywood isn't holding their people accountable to a long term program. I mean, look, at we just lost, you know, um, many people in Hollywood from, from overdosing. But the reality is, is that why isn't Hollywood holding people accountable like the doctor diversion program, the drug courts program, the pilots program. People are dropping like flies. It's not fair. It's okay. inhumane. Uh, well, I guess there's also something that with a lot of these drugs, unfortunately, somehow, Hollywood thinks it's cool and then makes it seem cool to a lot of other people, especially younger people around the country. But what about these facilities? You know, they, they have access to you know, the gourmet meals, the spas, the gyms. I mean, it, it just seems those places like a vacation in a sense. When you look at the pictures of, of the facility David was at, $45,000 a month. Um, is that better treatment than most Americans can get somewhere else? Or is that just an inflated price tag? No, I, I think the treatment there is amazing. It's really great treatment. And just because you're an addict doesn't mean that you need to go to the Salvation Army to get treatment. You know, you can yeah, get treatment in these high-end places, you know, and get the help that you need. But the most important part of that is that the addict has to hit a rock bottom, as we all know. There needs to be a consequence that's going to be long-term. So like the Dr. Divergent program, they lose their license. That's a long-term consequence. And that's what we need to develop for these people in Hollywood. You cannot work if you are not going to be compliant to your program of recovery. That's what we have to do it. We have to do that for them. Ken, thank you very much.